Follow along as we make some intricate and some interesting illustrator patterns using custom brushes. Make sure to follow along step by step and at the very end of today's video, not only are you going to have an awesome pattern, but you would have also learned some skills to create your very own patterns in Adobe Illustrator. So firstly, press L for the ellipse tool and then click and drag whilst holding down shift to create a perfect circle. Make sure that you have the smart guide switched on and you can do that by pressing command or control U on your keyboard. Now hold down the alt option key and click and drag to duplicate the circle so it's exactly in the position that you can see on screen. The smart guides are telling me when it's in this position. Now we just want to use the middle section of these shapes and we could use the shape builder tool but this time I'm going to use the intersect function in the pathfinder window. Now resize and rescale your shape until you think you're ready to go. And let's copy this with command or control C and then paste a duplicate right over the top using command or control F. Now resize the new shape down like so and this is the first part of the design complete. So let's keep going and finish today's pattern. We're going to need to outline the strokes of our design so we can turn these strokes into a vector shape. Only do this after you're happy with the size of your stroke weight. We now need to bring up the guides onto our design and to do that you need the rulers open which you can press command or control R to do so. If your guides are hidden right click the artboard and then show guides. Select your design and then press command or control G to group everything together. Now I've got a nifty technique for you all. Select the design and the guide by clicking and dragging over the selection but then also click the guide a second time to highlight it. We can then align everything to this guide and we do need to be precise in today's custom brush tutorial and this is one way to be precise when aligning things. So once you've got your guides along both sides perfectly, ungroup your design and then duplicate the outer shape by holding down the alt option key. We need a guide that runs along the top of the original design and then press P for the pen tool. We're now going to create an area to cut into this new shape by drawing a vector path. And then accessing the pathfinder window and the intersect option. Press shift and X to flip the stroke of your shape over to a filled path and then duplicate the shape over to the other side. Finally, reflect the shape with the reflect function located in the top drop down menu. Now press M for the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle absolutely in line with your guides. Now it is crucial that you make sure it's perfectly in line. Once you've made the rectangle, press command or control 3 to hide the rectangle as we're going to want to use this later in the tutorial. Now still using the rectangle tool, draw in a rectangle below and it doesn't matter if it creeps over the guides. Position your rectangle in place and then when ready, click and drag to duplicate the rectangle. But this time we want to resize the shape to make sure it's thicker. We're essentially building up the pattern for our brush stroke later in the video. And for the next section, create a rectangle, but this time make sure it's a stroke only. With the rectangle selected, head up to object and then split to grid. This is going to be a quick guide for us to use and I'm actually going to use four columns. You can use the selection tool by pressing V on your keyboard to move the entire grid around. But when ready, press L for the ellipse tool and then generate a circle in the same position as I'm doing here. You can then duplicate the circle over to the next section and the grid that we just made basically just makes sure everything is evenly spaced out across the pattern design. Again, use the smart guides to make sure things are in line. We can now remove the grid because we don't need it anymore. And then proceed to duplicate the two rectangles at the very top and arrange them in the order that I'm doing here. But of course, you can actually make whatever pattern you want for your design. 
Now we're nearly finished, but follow along and learn the most crucial aspect of today's tutorial. We can now hide or remove the guides because we don't need to use them anymore, and then press Alt, Command or Control, and 3 to reveal the hidden rectangle we made earlier. This is going to help us make a clipping mask, and we absolutely need to make sure the rectangle is brought to the front of all layers so the clipping mask can actually work. Then select everything and generate the clipping mask function. Finally, for this portion of the tutorial, use the trim function in the Pathfinder window. We now have our brush pattern ready for our pattern design. You can access the brushes menu right here at the top, and then click the fly down menu in the top right corner. We're going to make a pattern brush, and if you've done everything correctly by following the steps, your pattern will fit perfectly next to one another. The clipping mask helps us with that basically. Now press B for the brush tool, and you can see when you click and drag, you're making a pattern across your canvas. The really cool thing though is that when you press L for the ellipse tool and create a circle, you can then just press the brush in the brushes menu and the pattern is going to be generated around the entire circle. Now this works for every single shape that you can think of or that you can use in Illustrator. And lowering the stroke is going to increase the amount of times your pattern is made around the shape. Also of course you can increase the stroke weight and the design kind of gets a bit out of control at this stage, but it's still cool nonetheless. And remember, if you want to keep expanding your skills and your awareness as a graphic designer, subscribe to Satori Graphics for our weekly graphic design content. Also, like and share my videos on social media, and of course, stay locked in here at Satori Graphics. But yeah, have a great day, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.